You know, I got the feeling we've all come to a collective agreement that although Bubble Bass likely was based on the Simpsons comic book guy, uh, we've, uh, you know, y you put the hat on him, he goes to something else with, uh, pinpoint accuracy, you know? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash just neckbeard things, the lovely cringe you can smell through the internet. If you guys would like to be absolutely amazing and show your support, be sure to hit that like button, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel. Let's go. Also, the channel is actually getting really close to the 30 thousand subscriber milestone and honestly i would love for you guys to take a part in that and help me out here <laughs> jokes on them they're missing out <laughs> whatever oh joy look at this bad dude he's playing something that can be played again you know you can't redo that party teacher what are you laughing at me nothing my brain milkshake and you know the best part is the milkshake gets more suckage than the people it's making fun of an european samurai i really have loved japan since years and years i made this pic to show some love and respect for japan and to thank it for its inspiration i can understand the whole message and everything one to show respect for a culture and everything but maybe don't do it when you look like you went to walmart to get all the bit or you know whatever the european counterpart to walmart is okay you know what i think i need to go out and just quit this I think I downloaded the wrong Inspector Gadget movie. I can be your angle, or you are devil. Uh, whichever one it is, it's not going to involve a dictionary. Because, geez, the spelling alone is going to leave people in purgatory. The funniest part about unlikable geek men is they really are fully convinced people don't like them because of their hobbies. They cannot even begin to process the idea that comics and D&D and stuff have, in fact, always been kind of cool, and that their personalities might just be repulsive. The combined unwavering ego slash persecution complex is is unreal. I was socially rejected because I like video games. No, Tyler, you were socially rejected because you turn every conversation you have into a competition and you call women females. Yeah, this actually makes a whole lot of sense. The only instance where I have actually been teased because I liked a certain hobby was in grade schools. So basically, don't take anything in high school seriously. Like seriously, I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh in the cafeteria and I got a hot dog thrown at me. Outside of schools, nobody really cares what you like. It's all about really how you act. You know, content of character and stuff. What normal people see versus what neckbeards see. Yeah, come on, these guys put it on so much they'll run away if you take out a match. Go on, try to prove me wrong. Try to prove to me that SpongeBob did not predict it. A seeking housewife, a seeking open-minded female for live-in relationship, nice home to share, reply with a pic, and let's meet up ASAP. Oh good, it's a house that they're living in, there's laundry, but there's no privacy, no private bath, no room for privacy, <laughs> no, mm -mm. great, yeah, sign me up. Eh, you yeah, know these were about to resurface sooner or later, I'm honestly still surprised that people are trying to price gouge these things on eBay for like $30, like, it's ridiculous, like, like, come on, I just want to try a little bit, just because I'm curious about this, okay? Men be fine as heck, and then boom! Rainbow light-up keyboard and two monitors. And then boom! Even more fine. I wouldn't say this is really a neckbeard thing, but I will say for a fact that it is a bit like a drug in the fact that once you have one thing that does like the color cycling and everything, you're gonna want everything to be doing that. I don't know, I have my keyboard set to static blue because, you know, it's distracting. But, you know, some people are kind of nuts on it and want everything to be that RGB blue rainbow kind of flashy thing down to their dog being that color. I'm honestly still waiting for Trevor Wallace to do a video like that. You know, come on, dude, guys that like RGB color palettes. Came for a 14-year-old girl and got munchies on me. I really hope this is an episode of Dateline. Or To Catch a Predator, one of the two. When SJW say, this anime is junk, girl like this is unrealistic, that all we know is SJW people not even living in the earth. SJW people are like a toad at the bottom of a well. Okay, I'm gonna be really honest, I've been watching Uzaki and it's honestly just a funny show. I've been reading the manga for years, and it's not even a heavy fan service focused show. It's just a slice of life. It's two friends hanging out. It's just downright funny. But no, apparently all this drama is because apparently you're a child if you're under four foot eleven, or you know the whole short stack build. Don't try to ruin this, Neckbeards. This is a fun show, and honestly, I kind of want the shirt. Kitana doesn't have blonde hair. Jax has metal arms, and Kitana wouldn't even freak Jax. Kitana would be freaking Luke. Kang, and Sonya 
Jim would frick Jax. This is all just a pit of lies, and my dong hates liars. Dude, do you know what site you're on? They're not going for accuracy here. They're going for plot lines. Masculinity isn't toxic. It's men who aren't masculine who are toxic. Weak little men use and abuse women instead of protecting and loving them. Our society is suffering from a shortage of real masculinity, and it brings great harm to women and children. Yeah, because God forbid you try to gatekeep guys having feelings. Not everything in the world has to involve with you acting tough. You don't always have to be the guardian of everybody. Oh, you say something about God? Well, let me destroy you with facts and my unbearable hopelessness. You know, it's gonna be a real shame whenever Doge goes, because um, th all these memes will be in bad taste after that. Ah yes, the good old stomping ground eating point where they have a good tuna melt. Okay, look, you know what? I I'm stupid enough with a keyboard that if I were dumb enough to get this, I would not know how to use it because I don't know what letter I'm punching unless I'm looking at the key button still. So it's not even cringy, but it's also impractical and makes your keyboard almost useless. Frick it. I am tired of hiding who I am. This is me, and I've got nothing to lose. Hashtag map. Hashtag map pride. Hashtag map positivity. Hashtag lolicon. Hashtag pedo. Hashtag transaged. Hashtag love is love. Yeah, you're still going to prison. But you have to be my girlfriend. Snickers nefariously thinks to self, Ma'am, if this works, I'll get this cute girl to be my girlfriend and I'll ride the cool roller coasters. Come on, a luck be a lady tonight. Crosses fingers and gulps. So, just collars and looks firmly. What do you say to my proposal? Waits patiently. Holy freaking shot, dude. You know, maybe some people are into the whole asterisk roleplay thing. Some people are, some people don't. Maybe just don't spring it onto them like an Acme Anvil in the Wile E. Coyote cartoons. Gamer girls need to take extra care not to annoy the guys they play games with. One, don't whine. Nobody, especially guys who are trying to beat you in Black Ops, like whining. If you are getting killed frequently or aren't doing so well in the game, play off the fact that you're losing. Wow, I went 5 and 12. That's embarrassing. You want to laugh it off. Don't whine about it. Two, know your stuff. This is important if you want to be taken seriously. Even if it means practicing more, reading the game manual, or even joining a video game related forum. You don't have to have expert knowledge of every Cold War era weapon. Just don't be ignorant about the weapons slash objective of the game. Three, don't try too hard to be girly. As a matter of fact, most people don't like it when it comes to their favorite games. It can come off as annoying and might result in a ridicule. Ah, yes, you know, the good old don't be yourself, conform so that you just fall in line kind of thing, right? Stuff like this is the reason I don't like to really play online multiplayer games anymore. I used to be absolutely obsessed with Destiny and Destiny 2, but unfortunately the community and all of their elitist stuff like you need to be this power level in order to play our game just so we can get it done as quickly as possible, not actually enjoy the game, is why I kind of stopped playing and haven't really updated play. PlayStation Plus. I have thought about Fall Guys though, because there isn't really a community developed for that yet. Serves you right for trusting a woman. All women cheat. They're biologically programmed to sleep with the Alpha. If you're no longer Alpha, they're no longer sleeping with you. Throughout human evolution, a child who hits roughly age 3 can be raised by the community. This is why women biologically lose their emotional bonding to a man once the child can be raised by the tribe. As they don't need you in their life anymore, unless they are sticking around for materialistic reasons. Love is a drug addiction to dopamine released during organisms. It is not real. It's a feeling designed to get you to breed. Understand this and avoid it at all cost, as it can change your judgment. Okay, look, so nobody's gonna take you seriously if you use the same terms to describe people as that are used to describe animals on National Geographic documentaries. Bert introduces his anime loving cousin, Neckbeard. Okay, why did you have to do Sesame Street bad like this? And also, secondly, Neckbeard, you look like you got a Let's Play channel. I'm just saying. Girls with mental disabilities are trendy, and dudes with mental disabilities are lesser beings. That's basically how society looks at autism. Not only that, many Chad Lights, upper tier whites, prefer females with mild cases of autism because she is less likely to participate in the usual female behaviors of social hosts. Careful, 
I have been thrown out of libraries and restaurants before because I was wearing day-old clothes with holes in them before. Women are first-class citizens, so if you're not looking your best, they can have you thrown out of any store. At least they can't have you arrested for being unattractive yet. No one's ever said a word to me. I've gone places without showering or changing my clothes for a month before. Ew. How tall are you? Six foot? I see. I'm five foot four. That must explain the difference in how we are treated. Right, right, okay. Just, uh, you care to give a little explanation on the relationship between height and being thrown out of a place for, um, you know, being nasty? Maybe, uh, for both of you as they should put on there instead of no shirt, no shoes, no crusty of anything, okay? And with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you would like to be absolutely amazing and supportive for the video and everything that's been going on through the month of August, be sure to absolutely decimate that like button, leave a comment down below, start up a good old discussion, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.